Good morning, friends, and welcome to We Are The Church. This is our simple little ministry of daily encouragement from the First United Methodist Church of Orange in Orange, California. I'm Pastor Bill Johnson. It's good to be with you today. Let's get started. Well, happy Saturday, everyone. It's good to be with you. It's such a beautiful day. I thought I'd come outside and record this uh, this morning. I, uh, I've been thinking a lot about uh, the eighth chapter of the Gospel of John. And in that eighth chapter, Jesus is having a conversation about freedom and um, and slavery with, with some of the religious leaders of his time who insist that because they are children of Abraham, they've never been slaves to anyone. Jesus had said this, if you obey the word that I, the command that I give you, that I will set you free. And those whom the Son has set free are truly free indeed. We don't think of the words obey and freedom very often as colliding in the same sentence. But Jesus' point to his friends and to his leaders in that day was that we are all slaves to sin. And so long as we keep sinning and we can't break the cycle, then we are continuing to be slaves to sin. And this is an interior and a spiritual condition. Now we may tell ourselves that we're free and we may say that no one shall rule over us. We may say that we live in the land of the free and the home of the brave. But so long as we are enslaved to sin, then we are not truly free. And the only way to be free indeed is to know the freedom of the one who made all creation. This is kind of a complicated bit of thinking on Jesus' part, but really it becomes very simple. If you live as children of his heavenly Father, if we live as children of the Father, then we're no longer slaves, but we're children in the household of God. I always tell people that I like to use the banister test when I talk about the difference to, between being slaves or servants of God and children of God. The slave will spend all day polishing the banister on the staircase in the house of God. But the child will wake up in the morning, jump on the staircase, and slide down laughing with joy. Once we make ourselves children of God, we have a free run of the house. That is to say, we can do anything. So long as when the Father calls to us, we say, yes, I'll do it. And we um, no longer have to worry ourselves. We no longer have to be uh, enslaved to the cares and concerns of this world. We simply live within the guidelines, the commandments, the teachings, the obedient life that Christ calls us to live within. And then we are made free. So on this beautiful Saturday morning, I want to remind you that as you have accepted Christ into your heart, you are truly, truly free from sin. So all you need to do is, all we need to do is call out to God, ask him, what, do you, what would you have me do next? And then get about the Father's business. This is not slavery or drudgery. God loves us like sons and daughters, and he would only ask us to do that which is to our benefit and pleasing to all. So enjoy the freedom that Christ has given you. And remember, that those whom the Son has set free are free, truly free indeed. And as we know the truth of God, we are free. So let's pray. We thank you, God, for loving us enough to call to us, to come to us, to give us your Son, Jesus, to break the cycle of sin, to restore our hearts and our minds to that which you created us to be. We thank you, O oh God, that we are your children, we ask that we might have the will and the strength to be your obedient children, knowing that as we are obedient to your will, we are made truly free through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, friends, have a wonderful Saturday. It is such a beautiful day today. I can't wait to, whoops, something just flew into me. I can't wait to be uh, in worship with you tomorrow online. And, uh, and in the meantime, remember to uh, wear a mask, remember to wash your hands and to read a psalm and to tell somebody today that you love them. I'll talk to you soon.